हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विनीत वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक इज हब सो टुडेज ट्यूटोरियल इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ वी कैन री रन ए टेस्ट केसेस इफ इट फेल्स सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ री ट्राई द टेस्ट व्हेन द टेस्ट केस फेल्स सो फॉर दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ए टेस्ट क्लास विथ द मेथड दैट वील बी यूजिंग सो actually this is the method that we are going to show here so you can see that uh, uh, here i am failing the test case so whenever it gets failed it will go to the exception class and then i am using this retry fail test uh, run uh, method so i am passing the test context and uh, this uh, in this parameter as parameter to this method so so what this means that an object of the text gen instance only i am passing and the test context to get the test case name and all those things so it's pretty much uh, straight forward so how, how i am using this method and in the retry method what i am doing is like here i am getting the test case name and here i am uh, uh, getting the init method that means test initialize method So I have a test initialize method here. So those are uh, I am capturing details uh, in this 65th and 66th line. Then inside the try catch, I am actually invoking those two methods, like the first the init method and the test method. So that's actually as simple as that. So you can see actually we are uh, just uh, using some concept of a single or default here. and then uh, based on that uh, we are also checking where the uh, test initialize attribute is not equal to null or wrong so oh, with that that's uh, that's pretty much about uh, how we can uh, reuse the retry a uh, method so you can see first when it runs it will print the started to and during the rerun it will uh, print passed in rerun okay so that's what i will be uh, showing here so i will just run that test test method retry so it has started okay so if you go to the output so you can see that started in its method started to and then it failed so it started to rerun and you can see it started from the init method again and then passed in rerun so actually it rerun for actually it only runs oh, once after the failure so that's what this code to so i guess this will be useful in some cases where you want the test case to run even there is an environment issue and all those things okay so uh, that's pretty much about this tutorial thank you and have a good day bye